The American logo in SMU's colors the SMU Mustangs are the athletic teams that represent Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, United States. The Mustangs were founded in 1911 and joined the Southwest Conference, competing against Baylor, Rice, Texas, Texas A&M, Arkansas and Oklahoma A&M. The football team has participated in various bowl games, from the Dixie Classic in 1924 to the Hawaii Bowl in 2012. Football alumni include Heisman winner Doak Walker, All-American Eric Dickerson, and two-time Super Bowl winner Forrest Gregg. The Mustangs participate in the NCAA Division I as a member of the American Athletic Conference. SMU was the only private school in the conference when it began operation as the American in 2013, but it was joined by Tulane and Tulsa a year later. From 1918 to 1996, the Mustangs were a member of the Southwest Conference, until it formally disbanded. The Mustangs subsequently joined the Western Athletic Conference and in 2005, SMU accepted an invitation to the Western Division of Conference USA. They accepted an invitation to join the Big East Conference, which split along football lines in 2013, with SMU and the other FBS schools reorganizing as the American Athletic Conference. SMU in action versus UTEP in 2009 and 1935, SMU had a magnificent season, a 12-1-0 record scoring 288 points while only giving up 39. The Mustangs completely dominated their opponents. They shut out eight of their 12 regular season opponents, including conference rivals Texas, Rice, Baylor, and Texas A&M. They were one of the most talented teams in school history. The 1935 Mustangs were crowned national champions by Frank Dickinson, a nationally respected economics professor at the University of Illinois. Although Minnesota was proclaimed the 1935 national champion by the AP and UPI polls, SMU usually claims the 1935 national title without qualification, even though they lost the Rose Bowl. Because the Dickinson system was the first to gain widespread national public and media acceptance as a selector of national champions. SMU played in three national championships in football, with a win in the 1982 Cotton Bowl Classic and an unofficial championship in the 1982 Polyester Bowl. All told, the Mustangs have played in 15 bowl games. Including one appearance in the Rose Bowl, four appearances in the Cotton Bowl Classic, and four straight bowl appearances following the Mustangs' 2009 resurgence in football. Denotes shared title SMU once competed annually with Rice University in football for the battle for the Mayor's Cup. SMU competes occasionally with the University of North Texas although there is no trophy to commemorate the winner. The death penalty on February 25, 1987, the Infractions Committee of the NCAA voted unanimously to cancel SMU's entire 1987 football season and all four of SMU's scheduled home games in 1988 in spite of SMU's cooperation and recommended sanctions. On April 11, 1987, SMU formally canceled the 1988 season, in effect, self-imposing a death penalty for a second football season. The program was terminated for the 1987 season because the university was making approximately $61,000 in booster payments from 1985 to 1986. It later emerged that a slush fund had been used to pay players as early as the mid-1970s, and athletic officials had known about it as early as 1981. SMU was eligible for this penalty because it had already been placed on probation less than five years prior to these violations, specifically, in 1985, for earlier recruiting violations. Since many players were poor, boosters would pay for rent or other bills for the parents of the athletes, and several key boosters and administration officials felt it would be unethical to cut off payments. When the sanctions were handed down, SMU had only three players, all seniors about to graduate, receiving payments. Not long afterward, SMU announced that its football team would stay shuttered for the 1988 season as well after school officials received indications that they wouldn't have enough experienced players to field a viable team. As it turned out, new coach Forrest Gregg was left with an undersized and underweight lineup. It took the Mustang football program almost a decade to recover from the effects of the scandal, the team not returning to a bowl game until 2009. Since returning from the death penalty seasons, SMU has had six non losing seasons, two of them. 500 seasons. In men's basketball, the Mustangs have won Final Four appearance accompanied by 14 Southwest Conference championships. In July 2016, SMU hired Tim Jankovic to lead the Mustangs. SMU's women's basketball team is coached by coach Travis Mays. The team has advanced to the postseason 12 times since 1993 and is a rising power. 
The men's soccer team is a consistent national contender, including a recent trip to the Elite Eight, and time spent as number one in the nation, finishing the season at number two, earning the school's sixth conference title in the sport. The men's golf team won the 1954 NCAA championship. In 2015, Bryson DeChambeau won the NCAA individual championship. They have won nine conference championships. In 2006, Golf Digest ranked the SMU men's golf program now. 16 in the nation. On May 1, 2007, SMU senior Colt Nost was named the Conference USA Golfer of the Year. He earned Golfer of the Week awards five times during his senior year, and can be recognized for shooting a record-setting 64 for an amateur golfer. The 2015 team was given a postseason ban after multiple recruiting violations and unethical conduct under coach Josh Gregory. The decision also meant Deshambo was not able to defend his title. SMU's men's golf team has grown to be a national contender. It was named the number 16 golf team in the nation by Golf Digest in 2006, and produced pro golfer Colt Nost. In 1979 Kyle O'Brien won the AR Women's National Intercollegiate Individual Golf Championship. SMU Men's Swimming and Diving was founded in 1932 in the former Southwest Conference. The men's and women's teams have acquired 57 conference titles combined, and have a total of 91 NCAA National Championship appearances. Six SMU swimmers-slash-divers have been named NCAA Swimmer-slash-Diver of the Year. The Robson and Lindley Aquatic Center, the swimming and diving team's brand new Olympic-sized pool, was built in 2017 to continue the legacy of successful swimming and diving. At SMU. SMU Women's Rowing achieved a program best fourth place finish at the 2018 American Athletic Conference Championship under first year head coach Kim Capini. The first Varsity Four won the program's first gold medal and the first Varsity Eight won bronze. At the 2019 championship, the first Varsity Eight won gold, breaking University of Central Florida's long winning streak in the event. At the 2019 championship, the SMU rowing team placed a program best second place. The women's equestrian team at SMU competed under the United Equestrian Conference until 2019 and now compete under Eastern College Athletic Conference. The Dallas Equestrian Center is the official stables where the team practices and hosts meets. SMU discontinued several sports in 1980. The university's financial position led to budget cuts across the university, and the university's athletic department had become too big to support. Southern Methodist University fielded a varsity baseball team from 1919 until it was discontinued after the 1980 season for financial reasons. The Mustangs won the 1953 SWC baseball title. SMU has won four NCAA team national championships and eight overall national championships. SMU won the following national championships that are not bestowed by the NCAA. The SMU football program has also produced other professional football standouts such as Don Meredith, Kyle Rote, Jerry Ball, Craig James and more recently Cole Beasley, Sterling Moore, Chris Banjo, Kenneth Acker, and Taylor Thompson. Thanks for watching.